Like looking in a mirror, huh? to be here. Really, you have no idea. So I have a little family drama going on. My ex-father-in-law just had a heart attack. He's unconscious and they have no idea if he's going to make it or not. Thank you. We have a fan of uncertain death in the back there. That's nice. Good for you, sir. Enjoy your chess game with the Reaper. So anyhow, for the last couple of days, I have been reduced to playing the coffee lounge at Beth Israel Hospital. I'm going back there as soon as I'm done here, and I'll spend the night watching all the men in my life completely fall apart while eating jello. It's really startling, actually, because we're always told, you're daddy's little girl. Daddy will protect you. Wait till your father gets home. And then your father walks into a hospital and he turns into a 10-year-old girl who just had a frog put down her dress. Now, my father, intellectual, emotions kept in a little bottle in storage. He hates hospitals. He hates the smell of hospitals, the look of hospitals. <laughs> when I had my daughter, I had to hold her out the window as he walked to work in the morning, just so he could see her. <laughs> and then there's my husband, ex-husband, actually, but we're still something. Now, in all fairness, I have seen him emotional. When the Brooklyn Dodgers moved to California, he was inconsolable. He sat in the dark, eating chocolate, writing love letters to Sandy Koufax. He'd try to put on a brave face and we'd walk past a hot dog cart and he'd fall to pieces, cradling the mustard container in his arms, repeating the 1955 World Series lineup over and over again. And then, of course, there is my father-in-law. Tough. Proud. And now my mother-in-law is trimming his beard, so if when he wakes up, he's ready to go to work. It's hard seeing the men in your life scared. And with the men out of commission, the women are left to keep things going. Now, this is not totally unusual, right? I mean, women could be bleeding from the head and they'd host a dinner party if the invitations were already sent out. <laughs> we never think about it like that. We just assume we're supporting the real leaders. You look around this hospital, you see the doctors. All men swaggering in and out of the rooms really fast. I'm important. I have a pen in my pocket. I look at a chart. Hmm, good chart. I sign the chart. I am God. God can't hang around. God has to be in the gallbladder, wing in five. <laughs> but spend a few days in the hospital and you start to notice the nurses. The nurses never rush out of your room. They just clean out the bedpans, draw the blood, insert the suppositories. They don't get to sign a chart. They don't even get a pen, but they hold you while you cry. So what does this mean? Are women more important than God? What if we discover one day that we were always the ones in charge? Just no one told us. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just don't want this man to die. Now let's see some tits and ass. Mitch, you gotta stay short, Johnny waiting. <laughs> 